everybody and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I'm down at my allotment again and what I'm going to be doing today is getting some of my sweet potatoes into my pony tunnels, the ones that I want to put in the poly tunnel. So what, what I've done from the last video you saw me put in um, some of my koi so I thought I better just do that from now. I'll show you it's just um, the koi. That's what I usually do, um, mix with my sweet potatoes. So I mix that in and it's all nicely um, and ready for me to use. Right, also what I've done this morning, I've gone round and I've brought in some of their com their compost what they got over the back and you can see it's a nice loose loose one so I hope this is going to be all right for um, the sweet potatoes are not too compacted it looks like it should be all right but I'm going to mix it with some of the koi as well. Oh, this is what I've got my um, potatoes in, in what's in the box. I've got the, this sort of um, brownish compost. So that's what I'm going to be using with some of my koi. I'll be back with you in a minute. Everyone, so I'm inside my polytunnel, as you can see. Got in a lot of room in here still. And I'm planting in containers for convenience of my back and that. I could have put a bed along uh, both sides and it's out left the middle, but I said it's easier for me to work with the, the uh, buckets and that. So in this one, you saw from the last time, I had um, two brew, brewery guard slips, what I brought down. And sorry about the aeroplane noise in the background, we're all gonna get that all the time. So what I've done, I've brought two brewery guard slips from home. As you can see, the soil is still nice and rich. Sorry, it's just a bit windy today, I don't know why. So I've got the polytunnel blowing all over the place. And I'm digging a hole here. Yeah, it's, you can see the soil is nicely loose, mixed with the um, koi. I've got some another brewery guard, but I'm going to put three in this big. This is about 70, 70 liters. This one's about um, around about 60 to 65 liters in there. So this one, you can see the soil is just loose already. That's what you need, a nice loose soil for sweet potatoes. So in this one, I'm going to be putting my um, Jamaican sweet potatoes in there. But I'm going to show you as I go along. So I'm going to be back with you in a minute. Right, everyone, so that's one of my um, brewery guards. And what I usually do is put them on so that they're ready to go straight into the hole. And they, they've already got their root, their root system on them. Right, into that hole, going to sprinkle some chicken manure pellets. Some Epsom salt. And some blood fish and bone. Going to put some around these roots as well. Just to get them going, because it's... Um, I'm only putting three in here because I want to give them enough space so that they can, the tubeless can go right down. You just can see a little bit of the root coming through there. So I'm just going to put this in, in the hole carefully. So already planted at an angle because when you plant sweet potatoes, you want to plant them, a, plant them slant, slant ways so that you. Um, know that the roots are going long ways instead of straight down so that's that just going to fill that in before I leave I'm just going to um, give that another water in so that's all right right 
In this one, you can see the soil is nice and loose. So it don't matter because all this is going to be sweet potatoes in this area. I've got my jar there. Just oh, those are the slips what I brought from home. You can see how they've been coming on. For those of you who's got slips for me, I hope your ones are okay. And there's a small jar in there. I've got a small jar. These are, I don't know where this has come from. I think this is pulled out or something. This is a um, Ito, but I think it's just come out because I've disturbed it. This is my Jamaican sweet potato. And this is the root system what's on them these are a slim potato so i can put four in this one that one ain't got no root yet so the ones what ain't got no root i'm taking them back home that one ain't got no root that one's got a little root system and these two have got root systems when you plant these you want to plant them at an angle like that so that the roots are odd down like that so that's how you plant your sweet potatoes. So they should be at an angle like that. So I'm gonna dig the holes. You can see nice loose soil. That's what they're like. Into that, blood fish and bone. Little bit of Epsom salt. Nice bit of um, chicken manure pellets. Just do that in a bit. Then you got your sweet potato at an angle and then just fill that in and that's it ready to do its thing. Put one over here. Like I come saying because they're they're um, loose you can um, put four in, in a big tub like this. So that's your Epsom salt. As the season goes on and they need any more and then I'll just put in um, some um, blood fish and bones. So you've got an angle, just cover them like that, and they're all right, they're ready to go. Everyone, so I've got my Beau Regard three in there, four of the Jamaican ones. This is a white sweet potato, which you can see is totally different. Again, I'm gonna put three three in, in, in one of these buckets. These are 30 litre buckets. Blood fish and bone, as usual. I'll show you the, how these ones co come along. That one ain't got no root system, so that one can go back home. That one just coming along, so I'll leave that one. That one ain't got no root system. You can see that's how white sweet potato more vigorous growth on it. Put that in there, just cover it over. I know some of the white sweet potato, potatoes can get quite big, so I'm just wondering if I should be putting um, three or, t or two, but I'm just gonna put three, doesn't matter. You can see even the little ones have got roots, so Anyone who gets sweet potatoes from me know that when they come, they're all rooted nicely. This is white sweet potato. So I'm gonna plant these ones and then I'll be back with you in a minute. Hey everyone, these are Brazilian sweet potatoes. As you can see, I've got loads of slips, so I have to try and use some. I wanna try some in the ground as well, so I've got more slips at home. So this is a Brazilian, see nice root system on all of them. I think this is an Eto or Eto. So this is a Brazilian. So that's going in there as well. All these I'm gonna water in before I go. Epsom salt and chicken manure pellets, just get in. So that's three of those in there. Put some little blood fish and bone around the top let that slowly sink down as it for when I water it all right so got these so these are Brazilians you need nice loose soil like I was saying 
lost fish and bone, chicken manure pellets, a little bit of Epsom salt, just rest the roots and don't um, be forced to pack it down, just rest it on there and then just fill it in like that. That's all you need to do. Just waiting for them to get some more compost really. So you can just push that down. That's all you do, just lightly, don't press it down, just put it lightly. And then the roots will find its own way. These are 30 litre buckets as I was saying. Once you know your sweet potatoes, then you can see some of them just got little slips, so I'll just put those back in the water. These, like in the next couple of weeks now, these will have nice root systems on them. There's a nice one. You can see the purple in the, purple in already. So I've got three in there. Doing some blood fish and bone around there. And then these are going to be watered in in a minute. Right, so that's those. So I've got um, Beauregard, Jamaican, White, Brazilian and Ito. And what's the other one I've got? I'm going to put a single Beauregard in, in this one because I want to... Um, one on its own and I'm going to put one in a different in the in the other soil what I've got from around the back just to see how that comes along so into that bit of blood fish and bone Epsom salt and chicken manure pellets the root system coming through already so these are just ready to go and do what they're doing so put this here so I know what it is so you're not pressing down you're just leveling it off then just a bit of epsom salt so I'm just putting that one on its own that's a beer regard Hi everybody so this bag is a cloth bag so what I'm going to do I'm going to be putting a mixture of sweet potatoes in there and see what happens I've got um, a white sweet potato this is just a small, small root what was thing, it's got roots on it. So this is a white one, so I'm going to put that one there. Just leave it there and see what happens. I'm going to put a, um, I haven't got a Jamaican one what has got roots on it. So you can put them in the ground like this, but you're going to have to keep them moist. I'm going to put, um, this is white sweet potato again, got a root here, so I'm going to just put that in as, as well, just to use them up. Then I'm going to put a couple of, one Ito in there, and one Hanna. Put these back in the jar, because these are going back home, so there's four in there. So I hope you're all enjoying the videos, what you're seeing. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell another friend. If you want to leave any comments, you can leave them in the comment section. If you want to reach out to me for any reason, I'm always there. We're coming off all the plat other platforms now with comments and that. As it's not... Um, benefiting us anything do being on those other platforms so if you want to get your questions answered YouTube is going to be the best place for you to do that so that's four in there so that's two white sweet potatoes a Hanna and a Ito in that one so this dirt is really dry what am I going to put into this one? Ito Bam Bam. Didn't get a lot of Bam Bam slips. You know some sweet potatoes come on, come in more than the other ones. So that's a Bam Bam. No, that's not a Bam Bam. 
this is a bam bam here some sweet potato slips you get more of the white sweet potato ones is the hardest one to get slips from for some reason I don't know why remember with sweet potato slips as well you have to keep watching the water to top them up because the water starts to go down pretty fast this is um, the dirt from round the back so I'm going to just put two, two in there and see how good this dirt really is as they're saying just cover that in so if you want want to know about sweet potatoes we're planting them these ones I'm planting in a polytunnel some I'm, I want to try some in the ground as well just to see what happens I've got some at home um, where's the um, what have I not put in there blood fish and bone right so that's that one I've got another one what I'm going to put um, I think because I've got this um, mulch on the floor it keeps the heat in there right so that's all the sweet potatoes and I've got um, two boo regards in this one you can see the dirt is really nice but I'm not sure how good it is if, they say, if it's as good as they're saying chicken manure pellets I've got some more in the car Get some salt and I've got um, two boo regards I'll be putting in there putting one there and another boo regard here you can see the roots coming nicely an angle so I've got those plants planted so what I'm going to do I'm going to give them a top dressing with some of this koi this just helps keep in the, some of the moisture as well so you just want to put a, a li little layer of um, the koi I can put this pot in the middle there so I can get to work it how I want to work it so this is going to help keep in the moisture for when you water Right, so I'll be back with you in a minute when I've done all done these. Hey everyone, so I've got the O's. I'm just going to give these a good water in. Make sure that the you can hear the water going down in them. These ones are going to take a bit of water because, well, not for now, but once they they start getting growing, then you're going to have to give them water to get down into the root system so these are 30 litre buckets like I was saying and if you like what you're seeing please remember to like share and subscribe if you want to leave any comments you can leave them in the comment section we'll get back to you on them while, while we still can once if the channel takes off how we want it to take off then I won't be able to answer everybody but the comments will be on there for everyone to respond to as well right and I've watered all the other plants apart from these ones in here I need to get these ones in the ground because the compost what they're used in these ain't, is one what's easy to dry out very quickly and the tomatoes didn't doesn't don't like this sort of um, compost right so that's one of my cho chos I brought it down up here to see if it's going to be all right just put a little bit of water back in these these are going back home this is my um, edo what's underneath there my corns were drying out and just give everything a little bit of water to get going all right I'm going to go up to the shop now and see if they've got that compost coming in if it's coming so I can get why that should be nice and free draining I'm going to take this off the shelf for now put this on the ground these are my pumpkins I haven't seen nothing come through yet but I hope they do because I was really short on those this time right I'll come back in here right I'm going into the greenhouse to give those things a, a water Right, these are cucumbers and my 
and my okras are starting to come through. I can see a few coming through now up here. These are um, Jamaica Glow Pumpkins. These new, these are really stiff, come up nice. So, so Jamaica Globe, Jamaica Globe, Jamaica Globe, Jamaica Globe. So those are come up. So I'm going to give this another good water in as well. You have to get all these weeds. You have to keep on top of the weeds that are up here. Try not to pull out any okra yams. I can see them coming through nicely now. They took their time, but they're here. These blow hide peas and these corn ambrosias, nothing happened to them, so that was just a waste. But um, just one, one blow hide decided to go, to um, grow. This is the um, yakon. Nice. There's my cucumbers. I know what's happened to this one. This was a yellow snack pepper. Don't know what happened to that one. Put it up here. Can't fit up here. Don't know what happened to that one. Just so you do some of these plants need to go in the ground but because of the weather what we're having cold in the morning mist frost and everything nothing's playing ball at the moment so so that's that this is a fine what was at home what dried out don't think it'll come back but i'll give it a bit of water gonna put it inside and see what happens right Going back up here, just going to give these things a little bit more water in. You can see they're coming along nicely. I think we was due some rain today, but I don't know. So I'm not watering it too much because I'll be back down here on Wednesday or Thursday, one of them days. You see one there isn't um, coming, so might have lost one. Spinach and that coming along nicely. Just had to make sure that they're nicely watered and everything. Then you'll be all right. One thing I haven't done is is um, stretch this pipe. This not this pipe. This hose. Yeah, it should be long enough because there's still a lot up, up there. I wanted to make sure that I can get over over the top there to water, which is fine. Right, so please remember to like, share and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell another friend. And I hope you all got your sweet potatoes from me. I hope they all arrive safely. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you all on the next one. You take care.